everyone, it's Darcy Blue. It's a beautiful morning in the Tanker Verde Wash and we had a wonderful rainstorm last night. I'm here with a feral uh, mulberry tree, Morris. These don't generally grow in the washes very commonly, but this one is escaped from somebody's landscape at some point or another and is now growing in the wash away from the roads. These do grow all over town and they are planted in parks and people's yards and very widely planted around here. Um, there are native varieties that do grow in the southwest. This is not one of them, but this is Morris Mulberry. And there are no fruits on this tree anymore. I'm sure that the birds had their fill. You can see these leaves are slightly, just slightly lopsided. This one's a better example. The, where the stem is, it's not quite the same size. One size is slightly taller. And mulberry is used in Chinese medicine quite extensively. Not so much in Western medicine. Um, but I have worked with this tree a little bit as a medicine, the leaves primarily. I use them as a tea, and it's a very demulcent, slimy, soothing, cooling tea for irritated, hot lungs and respiratory system. So if you've been breathing in a lot of smoke or dust, or you have a cough that's really hot and you're very dry, you don't have a lot of mucus, this can be an excellent soothing, cooling, moistening tea for the respiratory tract. And the fruits, of course, when they're available, are delicious. Usually the birds get them. There's white and red. The red ones tend to be more flavorful and preferred. The white ones are delicious, but they're a little, not, they're just a little bland. So I've seen them dried and sold in health food stores for $20 a pound as a superfood. So. If you want to beat the birds, you can get your own superfood from the mulberry tree. Thanks for coming along. Have a great morning. Hi, it's Darcy again. I am with the mulberry tree and want to show you a couple other identifying characteristics here. You see these leaves here on this stem? They look a little bit like mittens. They have three lobes. Here, there's a younger one. You can see it on that one. There's another one. And then you have leaves that do not have that mitten shape. They have this lopsided shape. And sometimes you even have leaves that just have one little thumb. Let's see if I saw one earlier. Right here. One little thumb on that leaf. Right there. Also, the saps, I mean, excuse me, the twigs produce a milky sap when you pick the leaves, or if you cut a, a, a twig, there's a milky sap in there. And the fruits look like, almost like blackberries or white raspberries. Not really, oh look, right there, one left. Lucky day for us. are not very good focus, but that's what they look like. This is a white. Okay, so this is Morris Alba mulberry. Escaped from somebody's yard at some point. Found itself a nice moist spot in the wash. <laughs>